guys and welcome to this vlog my hospital vlog series this is day four of me being in here and some stuff has happened so I thought I would update you guys so I actually I took this one other medicine this morning that I had never taken before it's a one-time dose and I actually had to sign a consent form for them to pump it into me because apparently it's like a chemotherapy kind of drug that goes along with chemotherapy so it is very high powered there was lots of like side effects and risks and I did not film it but we started like doing it and it's a medication that goes for like four to six hours through my IV and I'm currently still being pumped with it but the first hour was miserable I just felt so nauseous I had like a headache and I just felt like I was going to throw up but luckily I played some music and it kind of wore off I put on some makeup and now I'm vlogging and now we only have like 20 minutes left of this medication so yay and then I talked to my doctor and I get to go home so I am really excited but <laughs> this is not going to be like you know like a short journey because I'm gonna be doing IVIG at home and like I think I said this before but I'm doing it once a week for four weeks every other week for four weeks and then monthly for six months so it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt to be like always getting IVs and stuff but again I would rather be at home and I'm glad I get to go home today so yeah we are pumping this they are going to get all the discharge papers done and get this IV out and I get to go home and I'm so excited also guys I probably have never worn this like my hair up so much in vlogs in my entire life I've literally had my hair up for the past like four days so I apologize but yeah guys I planned on doing like a morning routine or like recording my morning this morning but I literally just had a headache and they start waking me up at literally like 7 a.m. the first thing they do is draw blood I'll show you guys I have like so much like bruises now because they poked me so much so this is my hand I don't know if you can you can't even see it that much the camera doesn't even pick it up that much and then I got so many bruises right here again the camera doesn't really pick it up but I'm so happy I don't get poked I'm still gonna have to do like blood work really often because I'm on cumitin which is like a blood thinner and they have to like really monitor that and I also gotta make sure I don't like cut myself because I'll just like bleed to death apparently so I have to be super careful and also I'm gonna have to be really careful just to stay away from people and everything because my immune system I mean it's like below zero at this point it's like negative because that's what I came in here for and this medicine that's going through me right now is literally so powerful so I cannot get sick and yeah I'm ready to get out of here I'm so excited I just can't hide it but seriously guys the first hour of this medication was literally death I was just trying like so hard not to throw up and I was like not talking to anyone so yeah also guys I'm so excited to take these off I'm just going to rip them off it's going to be freaking magical and I don't know I just cannot wait to go home I'm like I want some like home cooking because I've been eating out so much and everything and oh, I'm so excited but yeah also guys I'm just kind of like going and also guys I'm just like telling you guys everything but my biopsy results are not back yet so we're still right also guys I just want to tell you everything but my biopsy results are not back yet so they really don't know too much details about the antibodies just yet and then it'll take like a month for like all this medicine not to fear interfere with like my blood levels and it'll take like a month for this medicine not to like interfere with like my levels so it's gonna be like hard to see if the antibodies are down until a while so hopefully they are but we won't know until like a couple of months so yeah it's gonna be like hard waiting but yeah I'm so excited to get out here you guys have no idea and hopefully they're getting all like the home health stuff set up at my home it's gonna be like the first time doing like IV antibiotics like where I live because I you know I live not with my parents I live like by myself and with my boyfriend so it's gonna be like the first time of them like coming to my house that's so weird but yeah I'm excited 
the doctors are excited. They're signing my discharge papers as we speak, hopefully. And I have 30 mils left of this and it's pumping at 100 mils per hour. So hopefully it's almost done. I'm excited. Just can't hide it. Okay guys, so we are at the final countdown. It is on four now, so we are legit like almost done. Like any second, the countdown is on. And then all we have to do is take out this, take off these, yada, yada, yada. And I'm so excited. So I have, literally my mom took all my bags down and I have my N95 and my glasses. And I think they have to like put me in a wheelchair and like wheel me down to the car, make sure I get in like the car safely, even though I can obviously walk and I'm just fine. I think that's just their protocol. So they see me rolling, they hate it. But yeah, I'm just so pumped to go home. So I got my cute little sneakers on and I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. We're at three. Feel okay? Feels good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it kind of tight just because you want to come in. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. You can take your telly off. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, your discharge diagnosis was elevated donor antibody, specific antibodies. Um, activities as tolerated, continue your diet, avoid sick people, wash your hands, continue to monitor your spirals and blood sugars and blood pressures. Um, medication changes, so start your warfarin at three milligrams, three tacos, one milligram, and then you'll receive a call from Courtney, you're gonna check the level, and then you'll go from there. You're gonna decrease your tacos to one milligram at 9 a.m. and one milligram at 9 p.m. That's gonna be self-legal. And then next IVIG is gonna be early next week, and then remember to free medicate like I was talking about. Um, this is just regular nursing um, information. Are you familiar with signs of stroke or, or call? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, you don't need the flu shot. You're going home with your own medications, personal belongings in this form. Yeah. You know. How